we are looking for to buy drugs. We got ketamine, meth, MDMA, Adderall, Bromo Dragonfly, heroin, coke, crack, codeine, oxys, perks, vikes, PCP, LSD, Dilaudid, mescaline, mushrooms, bath salts, cortisone, Toradol, birth control, I got plan B, that shit there's from Kenya, it's supposed to be a scurvy cure, silverback gorillas, but for humans it just makes them violently masturbate, your proferin, aspirin, I got Flintstone gummies if you want. We don't, we don't need any of that, we, no. no. Sorry man, they're just new to the game, ladies. What supplies do you need for PA school? That is what today's video is going to cover. Hey, what's up guys? My name is John and I'm an emergency medicine PA. Welcome to my channel. Now my program had a full page of supplies that they wanted you to get before you got to PA school. And I'm sure that your program will have a similar thing. Each program is a little bit specific. Double check before you buy anything expensive and also feel free to reach out to your program, your program director. They will lead you in the right way. And guys, if I miss anything, please leave a comment down below. This video is supposed to be helpful if you're in PA school and you're like, hey, John missed this crucial item. Leave it down below, you will be helping other pre-PA students and PA students with your comments. So thank you guys so much. The first major thing that you will need for PA school, every single individual will need, is a laptop. And ideally you should have a good laptop case or some sort of bag to carry said laptop because you will be carrying that laptop almost every single day. You will do essentially every single task in PA school on your laptop from writing papers, looking at the PowerPoint slides or reviewing lectures to taking your exams for instance and also sending and receiving emails. It's all done on your laptop. It is very important if that makes any sense. I'm an Apple fanboy and my laptop was a three-year-old MacBook. It was brand new, but it, it just happened to be like an older model and that did just fine for PA school. But I do like the newer MacBook Airs. I think that's perfectly capable for everything that you guys will be doing in PA school. If you are more of a PC person or if your program says make sure to have a Windows program and you don't even want to deal with Mac at all, ton of options out there that are all suitable. You don't have to go out there and spend $2,000 or $3,000 on a laptop for PA school. Ideally, if you guys could find something pre-owned, refurbished, or on the lower end of the spectrum, I think that is perfectly reasonable. Another electronic that you should definitely have access to is a printer and printer paper. Printer paper is not electronic, but you should have a printer. And I will tell you how many times you have to go print out a form, bring something to class, print out a paper, print out a study guide. Many of your programs will have a library and you could print out a thousand pages, for instance, during a semester or something like that. Depending on how far away your library is, your program is, and you don't want to go to a print shop and pay money, it could be be a very big inconvenience. So I would at least recommend any type of black and white printer and very cheap to have. You could have it in your apartment, you could share it with your PA school buddies. And then lastly, people ask about tablets. Should you have an iPad or Microsoft Surface for PA school? And if you do like to take notes with a stylet, with a pen, if you like to draw during lecture, if you like to highlight and underline in PowerPoint, for instance, then you could consider getting that. I will tell you that maybe only one or two people we're actively using the iPad during every single lecture. The majority of us hold out our laptops to follow along with lecture and to do all of our tasks. So I don't think that a tablet is necessary. However, it is useful. It is more portable. It still does a lot of stuff that regular laptop will do. And I know that more of these tablet devices are bridging the gap between tablet and laptop. I would not try to just go alone with a tablet or try to have a laptop and then you could add a tablet on if you want a tablet. Medical supplies. What sort of medical supplies do you need for PA school? The first one is being an otoscope and fundoscope. This was like $600 brand new. They want you to have a portable one just in case, you know, the one on the wall doesn't work or you don't have access to one, at least you will still have one. Plus, if you have a portable one, you could go home and practice all of these skills with your classmates. I guess that was the reasoning. I barely used it. Um, It was always available on the wall. They work just fine. I don't really think it was worthwhile. If your program is forcing you to buy these things, I would definitely look on the used market, look at Facebook Marketplace, look at eBay, go and ask one of the upperclassmen in your PA program if they have one that they're willing to sell you. This is one of those things that they make you buy during PA school and I'm like, 
Eh. Another major medical supply is your stethoscope, and I would not skimp on this. It is a very useful tool, and I'll also tell you that they last for a very long time. I have one that from my PA school program that still works just fine. I did also buy a second one, so I have access to two really nice ones, and my favorite brand would be Litman. There are other brands out there. I use the Litman Cardiology 4. I think the Cardiology 4, the Classic 3, are completely suitable for PA school, so you guys should look into that. You misplaced stethoscopes all the time. We put it down here for some reason, then you forget it. So keep an eye on it, take care of it, engrave it, get a, get a special color, you know, nothing too flashy, but something so that you can say, hey, this one is mine. I, I don't think you need any of those digital ones or very special ones, but up to you guys, do your research. You'll definitely need one for PA school. What other medical supplies will you need? My school had us get a Snellen bedside eye chart, a small tape measure, two tuning forks, which we barely used, a reflex hammer, pinwheel, or something to test for painful sensation, pen light, PPE, such as masks and goggles. They also made us buy patient gowns so that we could simulate being a patient for our class classmates so that we could take turns doing physical exam. Those are just a few that I could think of off the top of my head. Once again, your school will probably give you a whole big page worth of stuff they want you to have. My next category is books and school supplies for PA school. You guys should have a ton of pens on hand. You should have Sharpies, highlighters, erasers, pencils, I guess if you use pencils, post-it notes and notebooks, a stapler, paper clips, things that you found useful to use during college you will still need for PA school. I would say that if you guys are frequent coffee drinkers like I am, uh, back in PA school, I had a very unhealthy habit of drinking four or five cups of co coffee a day. I mean, I was absolutely wired, guys. Very important to have, good thermos. For books, most of the books that we needed to own or have were eBooks online. Sometimes the school provided them, but the professor would tell you if you really need the book to succeed at the course, or if it is just used as a reference. For my program, many of the outside books and sources were used as supplemental references. I essentially wanted you to know what they were teaching more so than what was in the book. That was my program, but every single program will vary. So keep that in mind. I will also say you should maybe right at the start of PA school, get some sort of pants preparation review book. You know, way back when in 2016 to 2018, we were all using the blue pants prep pearls book. And then out came the second edition. Now I think there's like four different editions and it, you could also use it as an easy reference for your program. The last thing that you guys all need for PA school is a new set of clothing. I don't care how big your wardrobe is. Now I'm not saying you need to go out there and buy very expensive clothes. Our program had a dress code and it was business casual. If you have no scrubs, you should also go buy two or three pairs of scrubs. There are plenty of brands out there. They all fit differently. All you should do is just make sure that it fits your body. It's not too tight or it's not too loose. It's comfortable. You could sit in it throughout the day. Also, you guys should all have a nice comfortable pair of sneakers or some sort of comfortable shoes for your rotations. So do not overlook your clothing. That is something that you should look into for PA school. Hope this video covered everything you guys need to know for supplies for PA school. Once again, leave a comment down below if I missed anything. Check me out on Instagram for more stories and posts on the life of a physician assistant. If you guys find this information useful, please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel. Every sub helps out so much. I do not make money from subscribers. It is a vanity metric. However, we are trying to get that YouTube play button. I think that would be really cool to have a PA at 100K subscribers. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. All this stuff helps the YouTube algorithm, guys. Helps out our channel so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay safe out there. Have a great day. Bye-bye.